hi everyone welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make a very quick and easy pasta with some coconut milk and some vegetables so if you want to see how i made this beautiful and yummy pasta then keep on watching so over here as you can see i've already gone ahead to prepare all my vegetables and that is just to save time here I have about 250 gram of the pasta. I'm using whole wheat pasta. You can use any pasta of your choice or spaghetti of your choice. And here I have some coconut milk, some coconut oil. I have here some chicken breast, which I've cut into tiny strips, as you can see. I also have a half of a red bell pepper which I also cut into tiny pieces I have a half of a yellow bell pepper as well I have one zucchini here if you don't like zucchini you can just skip this step here I've got one medium onion And here I have half of a scotch bonnet pepper and a teaspoon of minced ginger and garlic paste. Here I have a teaspoon of curry powder, a teaspoon of paprika and one more cube. I will also be adding some thyme, some oregano, some extra virgin olive oil, and finally I'm going to be adding some salt so over the heat I have some water boiling now I'm going to be adding some of the extra virgin olive oil after that I'm going to add some salt now I'm going to stir in the pasta and if you're wondering why I added the oil this oil will help to keep the pasta separate even when I'm done cooking as you will see later so stay in the pasta and cover the pot and cook for 10 minutes because the pack said I should cook the pasta for 10 minutes so I'm going to be cooking it for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes of cooking this is what the pasta looks like and I'm going to be testing it now to be very sure that my pasta is well cooked so once you press it with the tip of your fingers and it could easily break that's when you know that your pasta is ready now I'm just scooping out some of the liquid from the cooked pasta which I'm going to be using later then I'm going to strain the pasta and set that aside I'm going to be running some cold water over it as well and that cold water will help to keep the pasta from cooking even further and with that same pot I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of the coconut oil add the chopped onion I just added half of the chopped onion and then I added about half a teaspoon of the thyme and then add the chicken breast now I'm going to stir fry this chicken breast for five minutes after five minutes of stirring it continuously I'm going to now add the zucchini and stir that in as well now I'm going to be adding all the rest of the ingredients I just added the red bell pepper the yellow bell pepper and the remaining half onion stir everything together and then add the half of the chili pepper and the minced ginger and garlic paste add the oregano as well about just a dash of oregano <laughs> and add the curry and paprika along with the no cube now I'm going to be adding the liquid I scooped out from the boiled pasta and stir everything together until they are well combined 
Now I'm going to be adding the coconut milk and stir it thoroughly. So after stirring I'm going to taste for salt and I didn't add any more salt to this because I added some salt when I was cooking the pasta so I don't have to add more salt. After cooking the pasta if I think I need more salt I can go ahead and add but for now I'm not adding any more salt. So I'm going to stir in the pasta the already cooked pasta and as you can see the pasta is so separate as in they are all separate they are not clumping together or clogged together. I don't know the words to use. So after stirring the pasta, I'm going to leave it to cook for 5 minutes on a medium heat. Now after 5 minutes of cooking, my pasta is ready. As you can see, it is so juicy, so beautiful, so colorful and it tastes so good. So I'm now going to add some cheese, just sprinkle some cheese over the pasta and enjoy. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.